Well, what do you think about Tycoon games? I love them, and they've been around a long time with many iterations of games like Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and SimCity, which then eventually led into games like Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, and City Skylines. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. Good to see you here for Zoo Tycoon. My first look, I've never seen this game before, and I never played the original back from 2001 either, with the newest iteration being from 2017, also listed as 2018 on Steam, but this is Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. Now, I got this on Xbox with Game Pass as well, so if you want to play, I guess you can get started for just a dollar on Game Pass, which is pretty sweet. Otherwise, if you already got it, then you can, of course, download this one with no additional charge and jump back to the era of pre, I guess, Planet... Well, around the times of Planet Coaster and before Planet Zoo. And, uh, man, I've really been enjoying going back and checking out Tycoon games from before. So if you remember SimCity 4 or love Roller Coaster Tycoon or want to see Railroad Tycoon, then don't forget to check the channel, smash the like button too, and of course, turn on the notification bell after subscribing and become a member today. Thanks again, by the way, for everybody dropping a super thanks or something. It's a new thing on YouTube as well, so I see a lot of people dropping those. So if you did, thank you. Now, I think this is going to be quite a big game, and I think I need to get started in learning how it works and maybe see it with you for the first time. I didn't play the original game, but it was very similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon, but this is much different. And so we're going to take a look here and learn what we can about managing our own zoo. And if you'd like to see a full playthrough, we'll probably do it on a live stream sometime soon as well. Okay, let's jump in and learn what we can about taking care of our animals and building a zoo in Zoo Tycoon. Let's go. Well, apparently this game also has multiplayer. When I go back to the uh, main menu here, I can actually see like a start online mode. So I guess we could join someone else's zoo or make our own. But I also see the option to do tutorials and also campaign mode, challenge mode, and a sandbox mode too. So hopefully we could do all that in multiplayer as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the campaign. Oh yes, because this is the ultimate animal collection, we have the original campaign, the South America campaign, and the Australia campaign to go through as well with many different missions. So there's a hell of a lot of content here. That's cool. Well, we better get started with training mode because I'm not going to know what to do if we start a sandbox mode or how to tackle the campaign mode. But it looks like there's a lot of content here. By the way, this was made from the people who made Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo as well, Frontier. So they're the same people who made Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster after this one or during this one. So you might see a lot of similarities too, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we get those games in multiplayer. I think that'd be fantastic. Let's do some training. Wow. Oh, this is from third person? No way. Dude, we need to be able to look at our parks and Planet Coaster this way. Welcome to Zoo Tycoon. Yeah, let's get started indeed. Wow, this looks amazing. This is your zoo. Look up at this sign with... Okay, yep. Nice, got it. WSD to move. All right, I got that figured out. What is that over there? It looks like a... Uh, oh, it looks like Disney World or something. Okay. <laughs> All right, manage the zoo with tab. You got it. Oh, this is the building mode. Okay. So we can build our zoo from here, and then we can walk all around it in third-person mode, which almost feels like first-person in a way, I guess. Cool. All right. Uh, you can interact with lots of attractions. Okay. Walk up to a zookeeper and press space. Who? Oh, hi. Oh, God. Oh, it's in my hair. Oh, God. It's ripping my flesh off. Get it out. That raccoon near... Oh. Ma'am, your raccoon nearly killed me. Oh, monkeys. Cool. Well, that was cool. Let's go meet another animal in the zoo. I agree. Oh, what? Oh, I hit spacebar. Oh, we can drive? Hell yeah. On the way, people. Oh, this is badass. I didn't know you could drive. The GTA now. ZT Auto. Oh, am I supposed to top here? Uh, oh, there we go. Exhibits are where your animals live. You can uh, select and make changes by pressing space. Oh, got it. Andy to check options. Okay, so we can do all sorts of different things. Rename them. All right, cool. Poop. Yes, that's great. Animals. Select view animals. Oh, that's cool. Zoo keeps the animals happy by taking care of them. To see what they need, hold shift. Uh, looks like they're hungry and a few other things. Hi there. 
Wow, they look really well detailed. This is not a bad game for 2017. I was expecting it to... Uh, I, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. I just expected a top-down builder. This is cool. Oh, that tells you everything about them, too. That Indian elephants, like tropical um, climates and te temperate forests and grasslands. And that one, I think, is dead. The leg's twitching. Oh, boy. Oh, yep, it's dead. It's got to be. Looks like they're hungry. Oh, yeah, I would be, too. All right, let's go feed them. Can I jump in my whip? All the way, people. Emergency. Hungry elephant. Okay, we're here. Oh, I see. It's in the baskets. Hey, come on over. One of you? Hello? Here. How about an orange? Oh, now we're interested. Yeah, come on over, pal. Nikita. Hi there. Would you like a grapefruit, I think? Wow, that's cool. Can you do that in Planet Coaster or Planet Zoo? I don't I don't think there's a way to actually interact with the the world. How about another? Uh let's go for a banana. There you go. This game's really amazing. Now I gotta say the top down view of building your park and whatnot seems like it's more optimized for consoles, but I love this first person like actually taking care of your animals and stuff. And driving around in third person. That's pretty cool. Well done. By meeting their hunger, you've made them really happy. Good. Happy animals will attract more guests. Oh, yeah. That's how it is in not only Planet Zoo, but also Jurassic World Evolution, too. The happier the animals, the more willing everyone is to pay to see them. Uh, press shift to bring up the needs again. Uh. Oh, there it goes. And three out of six. You can fit six elephants in there? This is very dangerous. This is like... <laughs> there's not much holding these uh, elephants back. All right, let's go check out the giraffes. You bet giraffe I'm going to do that. Whoa, sorry. Oh, boy. Sorry, kids. Wow, look at that. Wait a minute. Is, does every game have to have a bear? Are you kidding me? Hold on, I got some unfinished business. I'm gonna kick your ass, bear. No, no! <sighs> I got wrecked by a bear. Yeah, yeah, keep clapping, people. Don't forget to sub, kid. All right, cool. Wow, the guests really remind me of how they do in the uh, Planet series, both Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster. That's awesome. That's a good thing. Oh, was that it right there? There you are. Excuse me. I'm going to park in this bush. Oh, wait. I'm blocking the the driver's side. There we go. All right. Hi. You are awfully tall, aren't you? Would you like a apple? There you go. Oh, man. Feeding every animal in this game would be sweet. I hope we get, like, crocodiles and alligators and... Maybe there's a, aquatic animals, like, uh, you know, sharks and things. Like, maybe we get aquariums. Would you like some more? What's this green stuff? Uh, here, how about some salad? Do you like that? I don't, I don't know. How's that? Oh, that's so little food. I'm sorry, bro. Wow, they look very real. And that face, though. You were adorable. Job complete. Zoo security maintained. Oh, you want me to take a look at the animals now? Okay. Wow. We got a, probably a mom and dad and a little, oh, a little one too. They have a little enclosure there as well. Well, I guess Planet Zoo is a little bit better in terms of building a much bigger and custom enclosure for them. And uh, making it so that way they can do a little bit more than just walk four steps and then be at the edge of their enclosure, but giraffes are hungry. Yep. Well, I did feed one of them already. Oh, did I get ahead of myself? Oh, they want me to feed them again? I did. Hey, where's the little one? 
Uh... Oh, there he is. You come over here. Merlin, Jesse, and Winsdale. Come here, you. Oh, the baby. Come on. Can we get his attention here? Here's a nanner. Come on, kid. Don't you want a banana? Oh, here we go. Hey. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. They've got both juveniles and adults, and they've got ways to feed them all. That's pretty spectacular. You want to... Uh, how about we give you a big old grapefruit? Or an orange. There you go. You earned it. Damn, good detail. This would be awesome in VR. There you go. Oh. Adorable. Oh, that was definitely worth it. Out of the way. Oh, it looks like they're all happy. All right, remember to keep your animals, animals happy by meeting their needs. You got it. No problem. All right, there's quite a bit to learn in this game. There's actually 10 tutorials in total. Everything from how to uh, feed your animals to interact with things in the zoo, place exhibits, uh, construct a bigger zoo, do maintenance, research, make money, and then, of course, animal care, more customization options, and training and hiring staff. Interesting. All right, well, let's go on to the second one then. Tutorial two will learn us how to interact with the zoo. Damn, there's a lot to do even before you get started. It's good. And we're back. I just read, by the way, that uh, Planet Zoo came out in 2019 and this one came out in 2017. And it also apparently was on, well, Windows and Mac and also Xbox One, 360, and then on Windows Phone. It was also on DS, so... My uh, hunch about it being on consoles was definitely true. What is this here? All right, cool. We're gonna learn more about interacting with the animals and meeting their needs. All right, let's get started then. Interact with your animals using the interaction stations placed on the edge of their exhibits. Okay. Oh, well, we have the elephants again. Interacts, okay, let's go, yeah, interactions, yep. Hold shift to bring up the info panel. And they're hungry. Place feed stations at the correct food type at the exhibits. Okay. Are those frogs? Bro. Let's give the ele elephant some food. Yeah. The elephant of surprise. The nearest animal will always come over to the interaction, but you can always choose. Okay, cool. Didn't we already feed you guys? Come on over, sir. Ma'am. There you go. Oh, no way. We got rhinos? Oh, wow. We can actually spray some water at them. Oh, they'll love that. Let's check their needs. Oh, there we go. Looks like they need a bath. Come on. Let me spray them. Yeah. That's some good looking water. There you go, Tristan. Back of the legs. There you go. He's coming right for us. There you go. Other side, yep. Yeah, we're gonna need to get you some anti dander shampoo. Alright, job done. 
Well, the guests love that one. Cool. All right, let's make sure they're happy now. Oh, wow, they leave footprints in the enclosure a bit. That's cool. All right, everything looks good. On to the next thing. Wow, okay, there's the car. Out of the way, people. Oh, can I drive out here? Oh, there's like a shield. What is this? Can like you... Wait, I don't... Hear no evil, see no evil, feel no evil? I have no idea what the hell that means. Alright. It's the chimpanzees. Cool. The chimps have low social need and are lonely. Aww. You want us to adopt more animals? Or go to the sensory play interaction window and press space. Sensory interaction window? Oh, I see. Oh, there's the baby chimp. Oh, I see. It's a mini game. Enter face mode. I'm just hitting the keys on the screen. Okay. So A, D. We're just making faces at each other, I guess. Yeah, I guess he likes it. Okay. Did that work? But yeah, there you go. Cool. It looks like the zoo is doing quite well. And we got lots of money and lots of fame. All right, cool. Tutorial complete. Okay. Tutorial three. Let's find out what to do next. So now I guess we get to do a little building. You've earned, learned a lot about taking care of your animals. Now it's time to learn about adding exhibit items. Finally, let's do it. Head over to the elephant exhibit in the middle of the zoo. Oh, can I, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm taking the tiger. I'm taking that one. That is sweet. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, we didn't have to go very far, but all right, it was still cool. All right, hop out. All right. Exhibit items. Interesting. Face the wall and press shift. Oh, it looks like we could put enrichments in there. Interactions, exhibit decorations. Okay. Oh. Looks like they're a little sad. Animal care items like food and cleaning stations help you take care of your animals. Of course. Uh, enrichments are toys for them to play with. Ooh. Let's get these animals some food. Select animal care. Oh, there we go. Great! Exhibits can only be put in certain places in the exhibit. You can cycle between them. Oh, okay. We can place a few different spots. And let's go with the fruit feeding station. Ah, there we go. So let's now put maybe veggies down on the other side. Oh, here we go. Let's do a cleaning station. We'll go with the um, go with the bird. Okay. Now they got everything they need. So I guess that's just like a bunch of water that comes out like a shower. And they just walk under it. Oh, cool. He's going to use it. Do it, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's what those frogs were we saw earlier. Cool. Yeah, you needed a bath. You got it. Cool. 
Looks like, oh yeah, looks like it improved things quite a bit. Press space to select the cleaning station. Oh, we can fill it up and stuff too? Okay, so we gotta fill it with water. Oh, that's a lot of tedious work. Refilling costs money, but it keeps your animals happy and healthy. That makes sense. All right, let's look at a habitat in need. This one's doing okay now, right? Habitat happiness is still low. I guess they want pl uh, toys to play with. Oh, you want toys now? Oh, activity centers. Let's go with the... This thingy. All right, we'll research that. Almost done. And good. There it goes. Cool. They'll enjoy playing with that, for sure. Oh, they seem happy, too. All right, now they need a social need. Animals like to have company, but some animals species can't be placed with another. Elephants like lots of companies, so let's adopt a new friend. Oh, we're going to adopt an elephant? All right. Go to Edit Exhibit. And select animals. But how do I edit the exhibit? Adopt new animal. There we go. Go with that one. Ooh. Here's what we got in the game. We got elephants, alpacas, antelope. Oh, no. Bears. Come on. Chimpanzees, cougars, giraffes, hippopotamuses, jaguars, kangaroos, lions, llamas, rhinoceroses, and tigers. Well, I guess we'll go with another elephant. Oh, it looks like we have different species, too. Uh, Indian, Sri Lankan, African, Borneo, Sumatran, African bush. Ele oh, we have to research the adoption of that one. Uh, let's see. Animals only are on the adoption list for a short time. Let's go with Warren. Wait, what's the differences here? L different levels? Now let's go for an adult size one. Okay. A helicopter will deliver the animal. What? Oh, there's the helipad. Oh, sweet. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. And there he goes out of the little cage. Cool. Nice. Hey, everything's good now. Excellent. Awesome. Let's learn how to decorate. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so we're going to edit, go to Exhibit and Decorations. Uh, let's build a decoration over here. Fresco, natural decorations, statues. Let's go with natural. Give me a... whatever that is. There it is. Looks like they're just going to tip that over. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Hi there. Cool outfit, kid. Well, that seems like it'd be really expensive. That thing's gonna be at least 150 bucks. Yikes. Now, from what I hear, it was the most difficult thing in the original Zoo Tycoon game in order to build and maintain money. It was a much more challenging game where budgeting was very important. And of course, like, you know, animal escapes were also a thing too. So I don't know if what we got in store for us here is going to be any of that. But at least we're going to do some building now. So that should be pretty cool. It's time to learn more about the Tycoon View. Okay. Press tab to go into the Tycoon View. Yeah, so this is our building mode now. We can get a real bird's eye view of the zoo. Return to zoo mode with tab and come on back. All right. All done. WASD to move around. Yep. The entrance looks really nice too, by the way. I like the design of things. What, what do we got here for animals? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. My arch nemesis, the bear. Oh, he's looking for trouble. What's over here? More bears? Oh, no. It's bear narcissuses. And an Ella bear? Oh, no. Everything's a bear. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Move left and right. Okay, yep. Rotate with the, uh, the camera. Okay, you got it. Cool. Oh, boy. Ooh, path editor mode. How does that look? That's going to be a nightmare, too. Uh, move the mouse left and right while holding down the mouse wheel to rotate the camera. Oh, like this? Gotcha. Zoom in and out. Done. 
Press Alt. Got it. Okay. And you can always go to the main gate with the uh, comma key. Okay. Wait, from this mode, we can press the comma key and go to the main entrance? Or the apostrophe key? Although that doesn't work. Uh-oh. Uh I'm in trouble. Let's go investigate the bears. That's what I really want to keep an eye on. Watch out, kids. There's bears. Bears on the loose. Let's go check out the exhibit for bears. Whoa. That bear is massive. Wait a minute. The bears really don't want to eat fruit, do they? they yeah, they like fish. There's salmon there. Can I feed the bear? Don't feed the bears. I gotta see if there's like a little tray for them. Oh, they don't trust me with it. That is a massive animal. And dangerous. Okay, let's see if I can, like, look over here. Well, there's ping mode. Ping maintenance. Oh, I see it. To show you where everybody is in the park. Your entertainers, your maintenance people, janitors. Okay, cool. That's cool. So they want me to press the apostrophe key, but that's not working. Comma, apostrophe, period. Uh, tilde? No, that ain't gonna work. Wait, it was the tilde key? Oh. Oh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh well. I figured it out. Just please don't let me go to the bear exhibit. Uh, oh wait. Go to the main gate and press shift. Oh, yeah, okay, we can ping animals, yep, so we can see all the animals in the park, cool. Now, they give you quite a bit of space to build it, I'm surprised. The tutorial's just a very small area, but, like, look at all the space we got to build in. That's a pretty substantial amount. Although, I gotta say, on PC, it definitely feels like I'm playing a game or console that was ported to PC and not actually, like, a PC game that was ported to console, you know, it's not the other way around. Which seems like that was a good call for them to do Planet Zoo primarily on uh, PC, and then it kind of sucks a little bit for console players because then it's such a downgrade, especially in terms of size and stuff. But you know, for example, Planet Coaster, well, you know, it's kind of on the limitation of the hardware, and so you know, with PlayStation, even PlayStation 5 or PS4, it's all you know, it's limited. All right, so ZX and F to uh, ping stuff, got it. Let's build something in the zoo, let's do it. Oh. We're going to build concession? That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. How do I do this, ma'am? Food and drink? Please let me place burgers, please. What else is there? Decorations, paths, mini exhibits, exhibits. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me those concessions. Wait. Go back one. Get out of my way with the tutorial. I know how to do this. No, quit it. There we go. Burger barn, milkshakes, brings all the boys to the yard, coffee, ice cream, pizzeria. Oh, man, I'm going with the burgers. All right, where can I put this? Oh, we can zoom out a bit. That's nice. Let's plop that down over here. Wait, which way do you, like, order your burger? I guess this area behind it is, like, a... Um, a seating area? Okay, so you can move it a little bit with the mouse. Okay. Uh, let's put it right here. Wherever it'll go. There we go. Stranded attraction is worthless. You have to connect it with... Yeah, okay. Follow the yellow dotted lines. Okay. Path editor mode. Okay, so we can make a couple paths here and there. Got it. 
I like it being here, separated. That's kind of nice. I want to go take a look at it. Ah, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at those. Whoa. Two for one. Those are some massive burgers, man. Colas, fries. Burgers here must be like $25 just for the fries. Okay. I'll be honest, not bad for a game that seems to be more of a console game that's ported to PC. I see some of the things being restrictive where you're placing things down in modules and then having to connect them via pathways, but it doesn't seem overall difficult or too challenging in terms of like, you know, laying out a park and just connecting everything with the path system, but definitely I want to make more of my own decorative walking areas and of course different areas for exhibits and whatnot for all the different types of animals. They give you a ton of space to build in, but some of the things that you need to build have limited space, like for example a bear exhibit or a place for elephants, not very large. Now, if this game has some tourism elements, like for example uh, safari vehicles that you can drive around or guests can take a monorail, that would open up things quite a bit. And some of the campaign missions seem to be pretty cool too, at least in terms of like each one having a different problem, like you know the first mission being like uh, animals are kind of lonely so you're adopting more. And then increasing the profits of the zoo by having more people uh, in the zoo to, of course, become, uh, I guess, donators and uh, people to uh, be guests in the park to pay money. But overall, a pretty cool experience, but I'm getting more console vibes from this one, but not bad. But it's one that I would feel like I'd probably enjoy more on the couch than on the PC. But how can I complain when it's just free on Game Pass? We'll come back to this one and play a lot more and probably do some of our own sandbox stuff sometime in the future. So if you want to see more Zoo Tycoon, let me know. But it was cool to see a tour and get the gist of what it's like to build and to take care of animals. All the other things are pretty self-explanatory, like buying staff members and whatnot in order to take care of the zoo, and also things like setting prices or whatnot are all trial and error in a game like this. But I liked my time here today, and I hope you did too. Thanks again for dropping in, folks. Have yourself a wonderful afternoon, good evening, and good night. And thank you very much for dropping in to see Zoo Tycoon. I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.